let's start with Garrett Cole and what you talked about on your show and your thoughts on the back and forth that he just had. I think it's fascinating that Scott Boris gave him a little attention and, and said, opt out. You got a chance to do better than 5-144, but it wasn't ready for him. And generally when players opt out, there's already been tampering. There's already an idea of what's out there. And he came crawling back to the Yankees and Scott Boris doesn't get told no very often. And uh, it seems the Yankees just said, we're not going to give him you an extra year at 36. And Garrett said, uh-oh, and he ended up not opting out. It's one of the strangest things I've ever seen, actually. Do you think there's a chance that an agent misread this or that the player misread this? Or do players sometimes go off on their own and make their own decisions in something like this? Or is this a, you know, you said tampering. Is this something that Boris has already talked to people and Boris has already, you know, inquired in this, in this area? It's malpractice if you have your player opt out of a contract and you don't have something better for him already in the bag. And Boris is used to delivering for his clients, at least in his own mind. And don't forget the picture. I wish we could pull it up right now of, of Cole when he became a free agent after the Houston World Series and he took off the Astros cap and put on a Boris cap. There's a great picture of him giving his postseason interview. He is full-fledged Boris and Boris is used to getting top dollar until really last year. But again, this just seemed like an overreach for Cole. And it's he thought the Yankees were just going to cave. I thought they'd renegotiate, that they'd add a fifth year, but spread out the money in a way that would help them from a luxury tax standpoint, maybe add some deferrals, maybe open up some cash flow for Soto, keeping in mind that Stanton's cash goes down after next season. But I guess they hadn't even started to negotiate that. So there you have it. Garrett Cole is as though he never opted out. So we talked to Ken Rosenthal about this, and he said he could see them still doing that because it would give them some relief. And maybe that happens before they sign Soto because the Yankees do care about the luxury tax number these days and how far they're going above it and how much they're paying that money to other ball clubs. Do you think that'll happen? Or do you think the Yankees go, wait, hold up. Now we got him for four years, 144. We don't have to do anything with him. So we can save money elsewhere. We don't have to add more years to a contract here for a guy who did have an elbow issue to start the season. We are never going to know what the medicals look like. That's not something we're going to ever be privy to. But why would the Yankees even entertain anything at this point? And maybe to make sure that he feels good coming into spring training, but he's on a contract. Yeah, I don't know about if it's making him feel good, but the reason why you add years and why you may see Soto go to 13 or 14 years through his age 40 is you really want to spread out the luxury tax pain that these teams feel. And one of the big misconceptions about the Yankees, and I know that no one believes me, but I'll say it again, the Yankees are not a cash cow. It used to be that Yes Network funded all of their operating losses and funded these huge payrolls they have. But every year that I was in baseball, when we see all the numbers from all the teams, the Yankees are not an operating income profit team, meaning they don't throw off cash as a team. And it's the Yes Network is not what it used to be. Their ownership in the Yes Network is not what it used to be. So money actually does matter to the Yankees. And Hal Steinbrenner has been pretty clear about that. And what he says is, we don't need $300 million to win, which is true. You shouldn't need that, as you saw many of the low to mid payroll level teams made the playoffs. But it's also him getting the market ready for, listen, we're not going to be able to match Steve Cohn dollar for dollar. And I don't blame Hal for that at all, actually. We get it. Mornings are nuts. No time for breakfast, but you need to get your day started right. What if a delicious, nutritious meal could be ready in seconds? Support for Foul Territory is brought to you by Huel the world's number one complete nutrition brand. With over 400 million meals sold worldwide, Huel is trusted by millions of people looking to fuel their days with convenient, complete nutrition. Try it for yourself with this exclusive FT offer. 15% off with the code FOUL at Huel.com. You know we're all about saving time, but we get hangry, like a lot. I recently fell in love with the Huel Ultimate Super Greens Powder, which is a perfect blend of 91 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients. I also love their complete nutrition bars, and those hot and savory pouches are fire too. FT fam, give it a shot. Get 15% off with the code FAL at H-U-E-L dot com. Unlock a healthier, easier way to eat with Huel. Nutritionally complete meals in minutes so you can focus on what really matters. Hey everybody, be sure to like and subscribe for more content.
We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.